morning everybody it's Wednesday I think Wednesday is a good day to upload I guess for my fledgling YouTube channel of me um, as you can see there's still road closures I don't know what they're doing it's earlier today because yesterday I was technically on time in the building but I was not on time to clock in Anyway, so how, oh look at that, what are we slowing down for? Uh, how's everybody doing? I'm doing alright, I guess. Uh, thinking about getting my Christmas shopping done real soon. I already uh, started a little bit, a little bit, usually I'm, I'm like done by now. I already started a little bit and I bought her some and I'm going to get her some art supplies because you know she likes to, she likes to draw and stuff. Those are all just sitting in my Amazon basket. It's not going to cost me a lot of money. It's like literally just about a month before Christmas so and she already has like, gosh her room is just exploding with toys and stuff. I get her one of those mini Nintendo uh, switches, the ones that where the remote controls don't come off. I think she'd really like that for her. Um, I bought my boyfriend some uh, Elder uh, LA Gear Slammers from like. The 90s from Skechers so I can't wait to see his face actually and then I'm gonna get him like a sweatshirt or something ah, I think I'm gonna get her a leg massager and I bought her some mules off of QVC y'all you should really check out QVC for your okay so from home shopping network I purchased a brand called Sporto. They look, uh, oh gosh, if I had to, like they're the same color as Timberlands, I guess. They're really rugged women boots, so. So I don't really wear them that often, but you know, winter Sporto, because I really liked uh, the boots. And uh, these other ones that I got were uh, these, these well, not mules, these waterproof shooties that I wore a lot last winter. And I'll probably wear them again. I put them on. I got them in I But I can wear socks with them. So they do keep my feet really warm. But if I want to wear them without socks and they feel wobbly and I feel like my ankle's going to turn in. But from, uh, I've never heard of that brand Sporto either, actually. But they, they, make, they make good shoes. They're comfortable. But from QVC, I bought, I'm going on my third pair of uh, shoes from this brand called Earth. They're comfortable. I'll just say that. They're comfortable. The first pair that I bought was like this, uh, that I could wear to work. They're not, like, they look like orthopedic shoes. <laughs> They're comfortable and they're good to wear to work, you know, and I get compliments on them when I wear them. I just, gosh, I feel so old when I wear them. But then, like, I also bought a pair of ankle boots. These ones I wasn't so happy with, but I didn't wear them until after the return period. And the only reason that I was because the toe scuffed on them. But you know, they're still comfortable. They still uh, keep your feet dry, all that jazz. I'm waiting on this lace up and a half, two and a half inch heel or something. I really can't wait for those to get there. They really remind me of that Victorian style, but with a sensible heel. I noticed like a lot of, I think that must be like the style for uh, this winter. Cause I noticed a lot of brands came out with that kind of look. 
I've been wanting a pair of boots like that for a really long time. So to see them, oh, I'm just so good. I can't wait to wear them. One of the reasons I love QVC, though, is because they have these mules, like I said, from QVC. Number one, they were all clearance. Number two, flex pay. So it doesn't... So, yeah, I can't wait to, to see my boots. But I... Oh, gosh. I'm tired, so I'm kind of rambling a bit. Uh, my sister, I found her gift on eBay. It's a retro from like 1990 something poly pocket. Mickey Mouse smells bad over here. And uh, I think she'll, I think she'll get a kick out of it. I'll get her that in like a gift card to like Sephora or something. Something she'll actually use. I really, really into this year. It was easier when he was younger because he would just bring like a stack of toys and he would go on and on and on about, you know, as you know, as kids do though. But this year, you know, he's gotten older so he doesn't bring, he doesn't really bring toys to the house anymore. So now I'm like, oh gosh, what do we get? But he's never really mentioned playing with anything about Star Wars. And that's usually what I go by is Halloween costume. So I think maybe he picked it because it's orange. Orange is his favorite. So I don't know. about getting him see racer car because where he lives he, he lives uh, on the help of one of those houses in like the hills where you drive by and all you really see is the gate so he has a lot of uh, a lot of yarnies annies I'm gonna keep my Christmas list real short this year my mom my brother, oh, I, I, I'm bidding on, a, on an Enterprise Star Trek Starship toy for my brother. I hope I win. And I also put a bid for a, a shuttlecraft for myself because we were major trekking nerds back in the day. Major. But yeah, I'm going to keep my list short this year. My mom, my kids, my son, so I'll probably get him something on Amazon.
but she gave me the phone number of my childhood friend. So I did a quick Google search. Google will find you anything. I did a quick Google search and I was able to find I was able to find her sis Facebook. And so I sent her an ad, a friend request, because I still could not find my friend. And unfortunately, they are estranged as well. They've been estranged since February. And it's just, it's like, oh man. But I did text that number that the little sister gave me. It, uh, I don't know why I didn't think to do this a long time ago, but I did put her name in the Google search with Riverside, the city that we went to high school in. And I think I found her LinkedIn. So I sent that an ad because I'm a creep. And I haven't seen her in... People just drift away, you know? I drift away. I've never been good at maintaining friendships. So... I wonder what will happen with that. Hopefully you could. I, uh, changing the subject, I check Taurus randomly do throughout the week to see if they have anything cute. And I logged into my account and I saw that I had a $20 birthday, which was, which is actually a really pleasant surprise because they're are usually were on the old system were only ten dollars so this was nice so I went ahead and sold this uh, navy again with like white and black trim on it but it was still like sixty dollars and it, I don't know it was still it still felt a little bit pricey like I did find because I can't let a coupon go to waste is a black chiffon cami with like a red, it looked like a muted, muted red uh, floral and, uh, accents on it, I guess. And I think it would look so cute with this uh, we have that I bought on eBay a while back. I actually really like that sweater. It gets a lot of wear. I think it'll look nice with it with uh, Ponte pants, my, uh, skinny jeans, the dark ones, and those boots that I'm getting from QVC. That should probably be. So I'm excited for that to get here. Tort has the slowest shipping. It's I ordered it yesterday, and it only came out to seven dollars altogether. Uh, it was regularly 30% off, so that dropped the price. $38, I think. So that dropped the price to like $27, and then like with the dis So I think that'll look really cute. I can't wait to see to see the whole outfit put together. I've been trying to up my outfit. So I've been buying a lot of like boots and booties and stuff. Today I'm actually wearing the green sweater that's in the screen cap of... It's cut weird. Short and wide. I bought it in a 3 and I think if I would have sized down to a 2, it would probably, you know, be more fitted and like the shoulder belly roll is what I'm trying to add. Tom's booties, and I think it's a cute look, I guess. Yeah, it's cute. Speaking of eBay, I wore, uh, I eBay finds this black, uh, torrid velvet blazer that's black velvet with, like, a burnt-out design on it. I wore it yesterday. I wore it all day. I was getting ready for bed. And my daughter says, and my daughter says, "Why is your arm dark?" And I looked at it, and it didn't. But I told her it's from the lighting. 
and I left it alone and went to sleep. And then this morning, I got up to get ready to go to work, and I saw that my arm tinted my skin blue. And I was not able to completely scrub it off. To know I have this done. I wonder if I didn't see that. I don't remember seeing this on the website, but I don't use. Anyways, that's what happened with that. So, eBay man, gotta love it. Uh, I guess that's it. <clears throat> I'll be here next Friday the 15th. I ordered it yesterday, the uh, fit. So yeah, it's 10 full days to mail one. And, and unnecessary. Just go through the post office, man. The post office. All right, I guess that's it. Commuter rant over. I'm almost to work anyway. Sorry, you've just been looking at my odometer this whole time. Look at me going. Look at me going to speed limit. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm almost to work. I know, it's fine. I'll park under a light. Yeah. But alright, so I'll talk to myself later.